Hello and welcome to video 13 for Topic 3 Networks and this time we're going to be describing the hardware and software components of a wireless network. This is for the IB Diploma Program in Computer Science. As you can see, it's Topic 3 as part of the four core units. So here we are, we've done network fundamentals, data transmission, and now we're on to wireless networks. The second video in with three more to go. Okay, so and by the end of this video, this lesson, you will be able to, hopefully, identify the key hardware components needed to set up a wireless network, explain the purpose of various software components within a wireless network, and understand how hardware and software works together to enable wireless connectivity. So what is a wireless network? Well, it's, it's a network that allows devices to communicate and exchange data without physical connections, basically it's using radio waves. The components, a combination of hardware and software, ensure seamless communication and security in a wireless network system. Now, there are several components in a wireless network, and I'm going to start with a modem, okay, because this is the thing that connects your network to the internet, okay, be this in your house, in a, in a small office, you're going to be using a modem. It converts signals from an internet service provider into data your computer can understand. It's like a translator that helps your device talk to the internet. Okay, but within that, and the reason I've kept the same picture, we've got a wireless router. And the wireless router is the device that takes the internet connection from your modem and creates a Wi-Fi signal, allowing your device to connect to the internet without needing to plug it in and without needing any cabling. It's like a Wi-Fi hotspot in your home for all your gadgets. So most home networks the modem and the wireless router are often combined into a single device called a modem router. This device both connects to the internet and creates a Wi-Fi connection for your devices in your home. However, some setups use separate modems and router units. Okay. We've also got a wireless access point, a WAP, a WAP. A wireless access point is a device that extends your wireless Wi-Fi network by providing additional spots for devices to connect wirelessly. It's like adding extra Wi-Fi spots in different parts of your home or your building to improve coverage and signal strengths. Okay, moving on from that, we have a wireless network adapter. Now, this is a small device. You can see here, this is sort of screws onto this USB connector here. It's a small device inside or attached to your computer or other gadget that allows them to connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, it's basically a, a network interface card, a NIC. Okay, it's like giving your device the ability to see and connect to a wireless network. Most laptops, most um, things like iPads, phones, all have built-in sort of Wi-Fi connectivity, but some don't. So this is sort of fairly old technology. We've also got an Ethernet to repeater or an Ethernet to, to WAP. And this is, again, is a device that's used to uh, use a wired Ethernet connection to extend or create a Wi-Fi signal. Okay, the Wi-Fi creates a new Wi-Fi hotspot while the repeater boosts an existing Wi-Fi signal to cover a larger area, improving connectivity in places with weak signals. Okay, so it's plugging this into the mains and you've got your aerials there. So just try and boost the signal. Now we've also got, and you can see a picture of it here, Ethernet over power line to WAP repeater. Okay, now basically what this is, Ethernet over power line to WAP repeater, it's a system that uses your own's electrical wiring system, so these are basically plugs in luck, yeah, to send internet data. It has two parts, one adapter plug into the power socket and connects to your router. See the little socket there, okay, via Ethernet cable. While the other adapter plugs into a different socket and acts as a WAP or a repeater, creating or boosting a Wi-Fi signal to another area of the home. So you see this here. I've got my, um, my router, my modem router, and this is talking to the internet, and, but it's hardwired in using an ethernet cable to one of the plugs in my home. Now that goes down the sort of electric, electrical signal in my home to the other router, okay? And this gives me sort of, it makes my um, Wi-Fi, extends my Wi-Fi so I can use it in other rooms. Maybe I wanna use it upstairs and the signal's not strong enough. I've got thick flooring or I've got thick walls it needs to get through. So this is a great way of boosting your internet signal. We have wireless um, antennas. Now wireless antennas are part of a Wi-Fi device like a router or access point that sends and receives radio signals to and from other wireless devices. Again, boosting the signal. 
They help strengthen the Wi-Fi signal and improve its range, making sure your devices can connect to the network from further away or in areas with weak signals. Then we need to talk about the software. We've talked about the hardware, we now need to talk about the software. We've got something called DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Now this is a system that automatically assigns IP addresses to devices on the network. Okay, so when a device like your phone or your laptop um, connects to the network, DHCP makes sure it gets a unique address allowing it to communicate with other, other devices and access the internet without having to do manual setup. Okay, it's basically assigning an IP address to your device. Remember your IP address changes wherever you are. So if you go into a coffee shop and you, you, you connect to their Wi-Fi, you'll have a different IP address to if you go home and start using your device on your home Wi-Fi network. We've got software firewalls, not quite like this, but a software firewall is a program that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic on your device. It acts like a security guard, blocking harmful or unauthorized data from entering your computer while allowing safe, act, safe data to pass through. We've got SSID, Service Set Identification. Yeah, it's the name of a Wi-Fi network that you see when you try to connect to, the, to, to Wi-Fi. It helps you identify and choose the correct network to join, like a label for your home or a public Wi-Fi network connection. Okay, SSID, Service Set Identification. We've then got NIC drivers. We have the network interface card. We saw that earlier in terms of hardware, but these need drivers. Yeah, and this is a software program that allow your computer's network card to communicate with the operating system on your computer or on your device. The act as a translator, helping your computer use the network card to connect to the internet or other networks. Okay, it's basically, yeah, recognizing the, the, the NIC card, what it is inside your, inside your computer or connected to your computer. Obviously, the operating system, we all know about this. Uh, it manages resources like memory and processing power to handle network tasks. It uses protocols like TCP IP to ensure devices communicate properly on the network. Um, the operating system also controls hardware, like as we've just said, the network interface card, using drivers to help devices connect and exchange data smoothly. So that was the software. We've got, I'm just going to revisit sort of firewalls, okay? We need the security software on our computers um, when we're connecting to the internet. Why? We want to prevent unauthorized access, um, disruption, and data breaches. We want something like antivirus software, firewall software, cryptographic tools, intrusion detection systems, um, IDSs. These or forms of these should be as part of your operating system, or you can, like antivirus, install separately. Why it's important? Well, it ensures the network remains secure from external threats and vulnerabilities. Okay. Now, WAP, Wireless Application Protocol, this specifies a set of protocols for accessing information over mobile wireless networks. It allows users to access the internet and exchange emails. Though WAP use has largely declined, as probably you don't, you don't see it at all now, it was essential for early mobile web access. Okay. So it's still on this exam, but remember the current IB specification started in 2014, so it's 10 years old now. So some of this, what we're talking about is fairly old, okay? You, but you need to know about it for historical relevance and it might just appear on your exam, okay? Um, role of the web browser, yeah, in wireless networks. Obviously a web browser, you know how this works, is software that retrieves, displays, and navigates content on the web, okay? Browsing websites, viewing media, managing web history, bookmarks, uh, examples, yeah. We know Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge, plus there are a few more. Okay, so in summary for this video, hardware recap, modems, wireless routers, WAP, wireless NIC, network interface cards, antennas, and repeaters. Okay, some terms we need to know and what they are. Software, DHCP, software firewall, SSID, NIC drivers, operating systems, and security software. And remember, both hardware and software are essential for creating a functional, secure wireless network. And as always, I've got three questions. Number one for two marks, define the term wireless access point or WAP. Okay, question two, describe the role of a router and a network interface card, a NIC, in a wireless network. 
And question three, for eight marks, explain how software components like firewalls and drivers support the operation of a wireless network. Okay, if you don't want to see the answers just yet, you want to have a go, please pause the video. Otherwise, here we go. A wireless access point is a hardware device that allows wireless devices to connect to a wired network using Wi-Fi or other wireless protocols. Okay, a router is responsible for directing data packets between devices in a wireless network and forwarding these packets between the local network and the internet. The interface card, the NIC, is a hardware component installed on a device, e.g. a laptop or a smartphone, that allows it to connect to a wireless network by sending and receiving wireless signals. Okay, and finally, question three, firewalls are software systems designed to monitor and control incoming and outgoing network traffic. In a wireless network, a firewall ensures security by blocking unauthorized access, filtering unwanted traffic, and preventing attacks like malware. Drivers are software programs that enable hardware devices, such as a network interface card, to communicate with the operating system. Without proper drivers, devices like wireless adapters wouldn't function correctly, and the device would be unable to connect to the network or perform optimally. So that is it. That is it for this video. So thank you very much indeed. We're almost there with networks. I'll see you next time for video 14. Thank you very much indeed. Bye for now. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.